Hello, I'm Max Nahutin from CloudFresh. In this video, we'll explore how to use Asana rules to streamline your workflows and automate routine tasks. Rules help ensure your projects run smoothly by triggering the actions automatically. Let's dive into how you can set them up and make the most of this feature. So, let's create some rules in Asana. There are several possibilities for creating rules, and the first one of them is create rule from the gallery. For this, you need to navigate to customize in the top right corner of your project, and then click Add Rules. And you will be taken to the Rules Gallery. You can check here uh, what rules are available for you. So there are different uh, options in different tariff plans. And uh, uh, also you can find there uh, that uh, in my instance there are a lot of uh, propositions for uh, rules even between the integrations uh, which we made uh, for our Asana. So then you can also create some integrations and uh, the rules will be appeared in your gallery and you can check if, uh, if you can use them. So in the rules gallery, there are a lot of uh, popular uh, rules, uh, which includes options like uh, task is added to this project, task is moved to a certain section or assigned tasks to a specific person and so on. After you have find the needed rule for you, you need to click on it. For example, let's be this one. And uh, then you need to choose the option for working of this rule. It's also uh, in the top right corner of this screen. So you can choose runs on task and subtask or runs on tasks. And then uh, you need to fill out the required param parameters, uh, such as sections. Uh, let, let me make some changes here. And uh, also, it could be assigned due dates. Uh, for this example, this rule uh, will take effect on some of the custom fields. So I will change the parameter of the custom field here. So let it be in progress. Uh, after everything is done, you just need to click on Publish Rule. And that's all. The rule is ready. So using these steps, you can easily implement uh, predefined automation uh, in your project, saving time and reducing uh, manual work. But for more flexibility, you can use custom rule builder. The navigation there is the same. So you need to go to customize and add rules. And uh, in uh, the rule gallery, you need to click create custom rule. Here you can uh, name your rule for easily identify it later. Then also you need to choose between options, uh, runs on tasks and subtasks. And after then you can create your rules by choosing the trigger uh, for its work. So you can check uh, that uh, there are a lot of triggers here and uh, some of them is working only with the option runs on tasks. So, uh, and most popular of them, like in a task is added to this project, move uh, to a certain section. Uh, also, the, the triggers could be related to the uh, custom fields you have created in your project attachments and so on. Uh, let me choose uh, task is added to this project. And after then you can uh, create, uh, you can add needed actions for this rule, for example, let it be to choose assignee and also I can add some some other actions for this block. Uh, I mean this block uh, of the actions because I, then I will also add the conditions for these actions and inside Asana rules there, there are possibility to have a lot of blocks of the conditions and uh, a lot of actions up to five per each block. So let me choose several actions per one block. Let it be assignee and I will choose the task progress, for example, and the due date. Let it be zero here. So and then uh, let be honestly the same, the same options with 
Bots with other Athani with the same progress field and with different due date, for example, next day. So, and uh, then you need to choose the conditions uh, for for refining uh, when the action should occur. So, let it be something simple for these blocks. Let's check uh, the section here, and also I can add I can add several conditions, and I will add the priority. So, when the task is added to the section in this planning in this project called planning and task has the priority high so there will be such an actions and uh, in other case when the task is added for example to the same section but the priority will be medium so there will be another block of actions also uh, pay attention that uh, in conditions blocks there are several operators possible. It could be AND or OR. You you need to choose uh, what conditions you you want to to use and how with uh, such an operators. Now, after that uh, the rule is ready. You just need to click uh, publish the rule. And uh, here we are. So, and uh, in general, custom rules are, allow you to tailor automation uh, to your specific needs, ensuring uh, tasks move seamlessly through your workflow. You can edit or pause your rules anytime. For this, uh, you need to go to Edit block in the Customize menu, and then you will be taken to the list of your rules added to this project. Then you need to add needed for your rule. And uh, in the rules editor, you can change the name, you can change the options uh, for three, for rules working. Also, if you need to pause it, you need to click on the button in the left top corner of rules editor and make it paused. Or uh, if you need to make it active, you it will be it will be active. So if you need to add uh, any actions, you can also do this here. Or uh, if you need to add conditions or even the new blocks of conditions, you you will also will be a available to do that here. So these options ensure your rules uh, remain relevant, up to date, uh, allowing you to adapt quickly to changes uh, in your workflow. On paid plans, section-based rules are available. The rules lighting bold icon uh, indicates sections with rules applied to them. Clicking the icon opens the rules menu for that sections, where you can add, edit or delete rules specific to that sections. This feature helps you manage uh, section-specific automation efficiently, ensuring tasks in different sections trigger and the appro appropriate actions. Also, Asana supports various additional triggers and actions. Some of them uh, could be dedicated to special types of tasks as subtasks, for example, status changes in approvals triggering specific actions like uh, notifying team members uh, or uh, automated comments posted uh, based on selected triggers helping to keep communication clear, uh, actions such uh, as add collaborator, change custom field, uh, duplicate task, just add versatility to your automations. Explore these options to fully leverage Asana's automation capabilities, ensuring all aspects of your work flow are covered. Checking the rules in your project, uh, please note the following limitations. There could be maximum 50 rules per project to keep things manageable. Uh, there could be up to 20 conditions uh, and uh, up to 5 actions per each block of conditions, allowing for detailed customization. Uh, certain triggers and actions have specific conditions, like not running on sub-sub-tasks uh, to avoid overly complex automation. Now, understanding these limits helps you design effective automation strategies, ensuring your rules are effective without overloading your project. 
and thank you for watching. If you need any support uh, with automations in Asana, feel free to reach out to us at CloudFresh. We are here to help you make the most of Asana's powerful features and ensure your workflows are efficient as possible. Thank you.